disturbing news tonight about homegrown terror. Last week, three Ohio men were convicted of plotting against the U.S. military, and it turns out that was not an isolated case. CBS News has learned those men had links to other cells in this country. Bob Orr explains. An ex-commando working undercover for the FBI took these pictures as aspiring terrorists plotted to carry out attacks against U.S. soldiers in Iraq. They trained with weapons and learned how to make suicide vests. But this didn't happen in Iraq, Afghanistan, or Pakistan. This training played out in Toledo, Ohio, and involved three Americans drawn to the call of jihad. While these radicals have now been convicted, CBS News has learned that emails and phone calls connect the Toledo cell to terror suspects in at least three other North American cities and to a notorious Al-Qaeda operative. Almost looks like one of those planned implosions. Federal agencies that were down there do believe that there was some sort of explosive device somewhere else besides the planes hitting. Did it, did it occur to you at all at that time that these buildings might actually collapse? Yeah, yeah but not the way they did. It, it occurred to all of us that they would ultimately collapse. It, it occurred to all of us that they would ultimately collapse over the way buildings usually collapse. Usually collapse. Usually collapse. Usually collapse. Here you're taking kids who presumably are innocent, who grow up trusting others, who don't have any preconceived notion about who other people are, and indoctrinating them in this Nazi, this fascist philosophy. Uh, you know, it's just horrific to think of poisoning these little minds.